Hi, this is Brian from Auckland Security Cameras and today we're going to look at how to search for and export uh, video files using MX Control Center. So we're starting at MX Control Center, we go to the camera that we are interested in. Right, in this case it's uh, an entrance way to a building. Now what we're going to do first is go up and activate player mode by clicking on this button here and then click on the button right next to it called open video search, the one that looks like binoculars. And up the top here you'll see some preview snapshots from the events that have occurred. And if we look along here we see here's one with a gentleman entering the uh, door. And so we're interested in recording this one. So first of all let's press the play button. And you'll see that. Now, while you've got the play button pressed, we can then hit on this button next to it and reverse. And if we hold this one down, we can reverse it up. So we'll rewind it. And now what we'll do is we're going to activate the marker mode. So simply right-click on that slider and set the beginning marker. And now press play. And you can even press the fast-forward at this stage. You'll see the guy walks up the steps, goes in there. Once we're happy that we've seen the end of the, the um, sequence that we're interested in, again, click the fast forward button or the play button, whatever you happen to be using. Come up here again, right click, set end marker. And now that we've done that, we then go up to this button here and go add to export list. And you'll see here that you can move this dialog box around, but there we have it, 227.37 to 18.19am. Now we're going to also record this gentleman leaving the building. So again, we look along here, click on our events list, and in one of these ones here, uh, we should see him about halfway down the stairs. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so here we have him leaving. So again, just to make sure that we're in the right place, we press the play button, and then we'll just rewind until we're happy that we're at about the right place. So rewind, pressing rewind again, uh, stops it. Again, we'll do the same thing. So we right mark, uh, right mouse, set beginning marker, um, press fast forward in this case. We'll see him coming down, and he walks right in front of the camera. Okay, press fast forward again. Once we're happy that we have the sequence, we set the end marker. So that's marked the position on the video. We then come up here again, add to export list. And as you'll see, we now have two video files that are in the export list. And now we're going to export that, and that's as simple as coming down here and pressing. Just check our settings first. You can either export as AVI or MXP. Uh, so in our case, we'll just, to make it simple, export as AVI, press export. Uh, it asks us where we want to export to, and we'll say main entrance, and we'll call it main entrance three. Give it a name, and away it goes. Processes the export. And very quickly it'll tell us that the export's completed. Now a quick way to find your files is just to go down to the start button. Uh, and remember the name, main entrance. And there it is there. So we double click on that. And Windows Media Player opens. And here we have our video. So it's combined those two video clips into a single video. And here we can see the gentleman arriving. So I'll fast forward it, just to speed it up. There we go. Uh, he's arriving. And then if we kept watching, we would see there he is arriving. We'll just uh, fast forward a wee bit. I think it should get to it very soon. And around about here. simple video using MX Control Center. So that's one of uh, about three ways that you can do it in MX Control Center and in later videos we'll cover the other ones as well. So this has been Brian from Auckland Security Cameras.